guys, Paul here. Welcome back to the channel. So today I have really cool special accessories or product um, to share with you. This is specially made for Tesla Model Y and it should fit for all Tesla Model Y model years from 2020 to 2023 which is my um, car 2023 Tesla Model Y long range. So we'll test this product today with my car and this is test camp refrigerator for Tesla Model Y. This is specially made for Tesla Model Y. This is probably the first time I ever see this refrigerator for Tesla car. So today I will show you what comes in the box and then the closer look and the quality of this refrigerator from test camp and then I'll show you all the functionalities and then we'll try to install it and see how it looks in my Tesla Model Y. Let's go! So these came in the box of test camp refrigerator for Tesla Model Y. So refrigerator itself, the aluminum plate, and the instruction manual. So the aluminum plate is basically for refrigerator to lock in place better. But if you have a thicker carpet or a thicker floor mat, then you might not need the plate. But I'll try it both with and without the plate. So basically, uh, when you install it, you have to turn this knob right here to lock the refrigerator in place in that um, rear section of the center console. And this is the instruction manual. Um, so it's you don't really need the, to install it. So you basically just put it in place, lock it, and then plug it in and it's done. That's it. Um, Let's look around um, on the details on the refrigerator itself before we go ahead and install it. So to open and close the refrigerator, it's really easy. So you basically just press to open and then same thing, close. Just press it in to close. And this is on button. This is freezer, just a regular refrigerator. And this is a warmer, so it could, you know, do three things at once. I didn't realize it does that. I thought it just the refrigerator to keep your drinks or something um, cool in your car while you're on a road trip or just, you know, daily use. And there is a, a vents on both sides of the refrigerator right here. So all the heat will come up this way and this, the back here um, is a power cable storage box so just pop it open and then here is your um, 12 volt plug to put um, in the 12 volt socket in the center console of your car I'll show that to you later when I install it okay so before um, I install this in my Tesla Model Y. Let me show you the capacity of the storage of the refrigerator inside. Okay, so before I put anything in there, let me show you the um, inside compartment of the refrigerator first. So this is where it stops. This is the deepest part of the refrigerator. Let me show you how deep. It's about um, my hand. So about five to six inches deep from here to here, but you can store um, anything until right here, not the white part. Um, let me first try to put a um, cans of Cokes or any soda, any soft drinks in here. So I have four, try to, try to do different um, ways. It doesn't fit, the. it can't stack this way anymore so I can you know, light it down. So six cans of sodas or beer or any soft drink. And you can also stack this way. 
six cans, probably a chocolate bar or something on the top right here. So six cans that you can fit in here. Now let's try the water. So just regular size water bottle. Let me try how many bottle can we fit in here. So I can fit four bottles in this um, refrigerator, which is which is good. You know, um, four people in the car, four bottles. Um, keep the water cool for summer days, for hot days. Since it has a freezer uh, function, so let's try the ice cream. So I have a pint size ice cream right here. One, two. So it fits two pints of ice cream. Let me try something else. Oh, you know what? Since it has a warmer function, let me try to put some kind of container that would keep the food warm. So this is small size um, IKEA container with the lid. One, two, three. I can easily put three of these in here. This is awesome for families because you know sometimes you're on a road trip, you want to keep the food warm for your kids or even yourself. Really, really cool. Um, I think it's not that bad for a refrigerator that fits in the center console of the Model Y. Um, it's not that big of the area there in the center console, the rear center console anyways. All right, now let's try to um, install this in my Tesla Model Y. Before I install the refrigerator, I should warn you that these additions can add up but I'm gonna help you figure out some ways to potentially make that money back. One way could have been investing in Tesla stock, but it's down over 23% in the last year because the company is going through growing pains, even though these may be temporary. Experts from GNS are predicting the markets to flatline this year. It's a tough time for owners and investors overall because nearly every portfolio from the biggest asset managers to beginner investors experienced major pain in the past 12 months. But there are always ways to try to protect your wealth and maybe even get back what you should have had like an asset that's outpaced the S&P 500 more than two times over the last 26 years. I'm talking about contemporary art. This asset's market used to be nearly impossible to access, but now you can access it in minutes without needing millions of dollars thanks to Masterworks. Masterworks pay out tens of millions of dollars in total to their investor last year. And every Masterworks exists to date has returned a profit to investors like you. Just take a look at this performance. The results speak for themselves. With over 600,000 plus members, Masterworks offerings have sold out in minutes. They even had to make a waitlist for new users, but I got special access for my followers to skip it. Just click that link in the description right now. Thanks Masterworks for sponsoring this part of the video. Now let me show you where I got this refrigerator from. I got this refrigerator from amazon.com. So right now Tescam is offering early bird price for $299 for the first 200 units so after the first 200 units are sold the price will go back up to 399 dollars i'll make sure to put the link in the description down below now let's go back to the video and install that refrigerator in my tesla model y all right let's install this refrigerator from Tescam in my tesla model y now um as you can see i have a floor mat right here this is all with the floor mat with the bump here i don't think this will be any issue but i will try with the plate first this is a quite heavy and thick aluminum plate for this so just place the plate down and then uh, make sure you have all the cable um, come out from the back of the refrigerator now we just um, place it this way slide it in Turn it around and then just shove it in. Just like that. 
there and then I just need to turn the knob okay so that's it um, so it's it stays really really good but on the plate you somehow you still can slide it out for some reason even though I tied it down really good already let me try it um, without the plate okay now let's try it without the plate so basically just slide it in Make sure you push it in all the way and this cable comes out after that just turn to lock it in place that's it um, clockwise nine and a half turns or just turn it until it's kind of stopped it can't like tighten up so it can't turn anymore okay I think it stays so much better um, in my Model Y because it has the all-weather floor mat without the plate um, and it looks better too it doesn't have that aluminum thing you know came out right here it looks blending to the car it looks really really nice and you can still open it it will stop right there um, by itself and then you can pull it open a little more all the way to if you know have uh, better uh, bigger things in here try to get it out but it will just stop right here for you and then press it in um, to close it All right now let's plug it in okay so now let's plug it in so you just use the 12 volt plug from the refrigerator and then open your center console and there should be a 12 volt socket right there and then you just plug it in there and then you should be able to close this with no issue Plug it in, now let's turn it on, just power it up, hold it for 7 seconds or 3 seconds, my bad. <laughs> so um, you can select it, this is freezer, so if you select the freezer, it um, the temperature will go down to 21 Fahrenheit. And right now the temperature inside is 64, and if you select refrigerator right in the middle, then it will go down to 43 Fahrenheit and if you um, want to warm the food you can click the warmer right here and it will go up all the way to 122 okay now let's try the warming function of this refrigerator which is right here and then I put a little um, thermostat there inside and see how long would it take for this unit um, to increase the temperature to 122 degrees. Okay, so it took about 14, 13 minutes um, to get it heat up from 64 degree to 122 degree, which is not bad at all. Um, let's see the thermostat inside. Oh, I can feel it. It's really warm in here. Not hot, but warm. As you can see here it used to be like 64 65 before that now it's 88 degrees so it's warm it's warming up but of course this number not super accurate this is I think it's more accurate it has to sit in here a little more you see 80 uh, 89 now so uh, it feels like about in the 90s in here which is not bad to warm um, up the food it will it will heat up more if I leave the thermostat um, in there a little longer. Right now, let's test refrigerator. As soon as you select refrigerator, you will hear the refrigerating fans in the back. It's working right now. As you can see, the fans have the space to vent out any heat from the refrigerator itself on both sides. Here and there. And now let's wait and see 
the temperature should go down to 43 Fahrenheit. As you can hear, the refrigerator is working right now, trying to get the temperature down. All right, it took less than 10 minutes um, for the refrigerator temperature to go down from 65, was it 65, 64, down to um, 43 Fahrenheit right now. All right, now let's try to um, put it to the freezer. So it should go down to 21, I believe, yeah, 21 degree. Let's see how long it will take. Right here, we'll start working right away. All right, it took probably about the same similar time, less than 10 minutes from um, 43 to 21. I think it's just the program numbers. I don't think it's the accurate actual numbers. It's 21 in there. Um, but it's a lot cooler. I can feel it um, in the refrigerator So I left the thermometer inside um, It went down to 43 But it said here 21. It takes a while for the thermometer to read though I'll leave it in a little longer and left it um, at the freezer for a bit and see how low the temperature will go down, but I can feel it in here. It's cold, colder than than the just regular refrigerator before. Uh, quite a lot colder, but it's not as cold as freezing cold yet. So it, it will take the refrigerator to get to that um, lower temperature a little bit longer, I believe, to get it lower. But it's great. It looks really, really cool. It fits in perfectly in that space right here it doesn't seem like you're wasting taking a lot of space out of the back of the car um, let me show you if I still can sit in the middle seat well this is a little space left I can put my foot to it um, on the middle seat so I can still somehow um, you see I'm sitting in the middle seat right now and I can still somehow put my feet on both sides of the refrigerator and still sitting here uh, with the refrigerator in it. Probably not as comfortable as without refrigerator, but somehow um, still, you know, doable. I still can fit, you can still can fit three adults in the back um, with the refrigerator um, in the car, which is really, really cool. I think it's really awesome idea and and good accessory to have in my car for sure. Okay, let's check the thermometer again. Let's see. So it went down all the way to 34 degrees. Um, it, sh it probably would go lower, but you have the idea. It's it's going down even lower. I have to leave probably leave it uh, at least 15, 20 minutes to go down to closer to 21 degree. But yeah, it's it's getting colder which is working, which is awesome. You know, you don't have to, um, if you worry about energy consumption for the car, you don't have to use or turn it on all the time. Just turn it on, you know, just leave it here and then turn it on when you need it. If you don't need it, just turn it off. Even without turning it on, it's still, it's like a cooler, right? So it keeps the um, the water or drinks in there kind of um, cool, cooler temperature than on the outside. I think this refrigerator would be awesome for picnic you know what let's go picnic in the park let's go what a better way to picnic at the park with a nice cold drink you want to try some cold drink Mm -hmm. What are you having, Isabel? We're having in and out. That's awesome. I think it'll be awesome for Uber driver to having this refrigerator in the Uber ride would be awesome. Oh, my Uber is here. Oh, it's a hot day today. Oh, that's a with um, water in refrigerator. No way! You got a refrigerator in your car? Yes. 
That is awesome. Wow, this is awesome to have in an Uber ride for sure. Yeah, I get an awesome tips today. I think the refrigerator from Test Cam for Tesla Model Y is really, really cool. You can use it for daily use, for road trip, or for picnic, or even for Uber. This is really cool refrigerator. I'll probably be using a lot of this refrigerator in my Tesla Model Y. And I'll make sure to put the link of this refrigerator in the description right down below this video and thank you so much for watching today's video guys don't forget to click like if you like the video don't forget to subscribe to support the channels and also check out this new merch just right below this video we'll see you on the next video